Welterweight champion. And the FSW faithful are showing exactly what TJ means to them with the welcome back chant. Yeah, Vandergriff stated since he moved to Vegas, one of the reasons was because he wanted to get in the ring with that man. He wanted to test himself against the Mount Everest, as you phrased it. I just watched literally when the greatest match ever had the privilege of calling the 60 minute iron match between TJP. I watched that. That was awesome. Yes, between TJP and, 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 and Josh Alexander, and they went out there. And they went 60 plus minutes, and it was one of the classic wrestling matches that I've ever seen in my life. That match was incredible. TJ Perkins brings it every time. Matt Vandergriff, though, is the one with something really to prove here. He wants to prove that he's on that level with the top people in this sport. And look right there, TJ going for an octopus hole, but no, Vandergriff counters out of it. Smart. The thing about TJ Perkins is a lot of people consider him a high flyer, which he is. But he's also such a great submission expert. He can wrestle in any style. Matt Vandergriff, he calls himself falling with style because he's a high flyer who can do things no one else can. But TJP can do all the things Vandergriff can. Let's say hypothetically there are seven disciplines of becoming a good pro wrestler, okay? Most of us, great wrestlers, you know, you, 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 you master four or five of them. TJP has mastered all seven of those disciplines. Everything he does, he knows how to do perfectly. You know, it's all you have to do is watch this man. This man revitalized the cruiserweight style of wrestling back about five years ago in one of the greatest tournaments in wrestling history, in my mind at least. He won the whole damn thing. It featured Zack Sabre Jr., Toto Ibushi. This guy is such an incredible talent. He's, he's underrated by people who don't know, but he's respected by the people who really know. Look at TJ rolling through. Head scissors, roll throw, down, take down. Look at this. And Vandergriff's hanging with him. TJP. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Vandergriff's going right back, hold for hold. One thing, when it does go to the mat, that's where Vandergriff may be a little bit outclassed, even though he's showing what he has right now. He doesn't quite have the submission expertise that uh, TJ Perkins brings to the ring. But when it goes to the air, Vandergriff, at least now, might be the more innovative high flyer of the two. Oh, what's TJP got in solid headstand here? Did he counter out, no roll through, nip up into. He's controlling the legs. Bone arrow! Oh, an arrow! Vandegriff hung upside down with those knees being driven into oh, the back. Oh, cover! Leg sweep, kick out. Dead even. You know, we talked about Vandegriff. Vandegriff publicly stated he wanted this match. We talked about it. TJ Perkins might actually see so much potential in someone like Vandergriff, and he should, that he was game for this. He wanted this match too. He knows the reputation Vandergriff has built up over the last several years on the independent wrestling scene that he wants in on this. He wants to face the best. And look at this. Let's see where we go right now. You're right. Vandergriff wants to, he wants to have a measuring stick. Nice knife as chopped European uppercut there from TJP. Where are we going next? In the corner goes Vandegrift up and over. Off the ropes he goes. The pace quickens. The pace is quickening. You know, Vandegrift could have just sidestepped, but decided he, instead he decided to do a one and a half over and the top. He wanted TJP to realize exactly who he's messing with, who he's facing off with in this matchup. You look at the face of TJP right there. He was kind of a little caught off guard. And TJ going to resort to a slap to the face. TJP, he doesn't want to be disrespected at this point in his career by anybody. Marafuji, oh, TJ holds on. Whoa. Wow, there's the veteran right there. I have never seen the Marafuji countered like that. And the bow from TJP. And that just shows TJP has seen it all. He's done it all. He's faced the top level competition in the world. He's earned the respect and the adulation of everyone who's a major player in this sport. Uh oh, TJP's paying for the boot wash, and he's setting it up right now. This is the boot wash. Oh no! Vandergriff, he doesn't want to be clean. Dragon screw! 
Matt Vanderev attacks the knee of TJP with the dragon screw leg whip. Irish whip here. Oh, look at TJP. Spiders out. Slides under. Rolls through. TJP stepped through. If he can set that leg over, it's a sharpshooter. He goes a little dab. Sharpshooter. And that dab might be the most insulting thing of all. Sharpshooter, a lot of agony on your le on your uh, knees, your back. Uh oh, knees back. Muda lock, back bridge leg lock, made famous by the great Muda, as you pointed out. And someone you've been in the ring with, you know how devastating that move is. I felt this move. It, my knees still hurt to this day because of this move. Look at the way he's stretching out Vanderbilt's shoulders and elbows. TJP knows how to make every submission even more dangerous than it already is. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Oh, goodness. Whoa. Oh, man, the might be might be and seriously stressed That could up. be a separation of the shoulder, hyperextension of the elbow. That is a lot going on right there. Well, we know uh, TJP at certain points has been in negotiations to compete inside of an octagon that – just lets you know right on the surface that he is a submission expert. He knows how to separate shoulders. He knows how to mess up your joints. It shows how dangerous he is in the ring. He's twisting away at the ankle of Vanny Rip. And as a high flyer, you know, you had some high flying moves in your repertoire. Yeah, I was more like a 747, not, yeah. not a, not a Look, super you did it. Jet. You did it. But when your ankle's messed up, how more, much more difficult you is it to elevate? You can't, you can't get any spring. You can't get any push off. So your ankles are, are crucial to high flying. And look at TJP. Not at any point allowing Vandergriff to get any sustained control. And now TJ's trying to string together a couple moves together. Here comes the Eddie Guerrero slingshot. I'm going to start calling that the Guerrero slingshot, not a slingshot senton. Two count only, though, after he just ascended up in the air and onto the ribs of Vandegriff. Now TJ is slowing the pace down right now. Walking Vandegriff's leg in and putting and hooking in, getting control in the neck and head, as well as the ankles. Nice submission. Vandegriff is not quitting. Yeah, the neck's being cranked, the legs are locked. It's very difficult. How, how would you try to escape something like this? Um, you've got to free up your legs right now because that's, that's, that's the locking mechanism in this whole move right now is the legs. That's something Van has got to do. He's not too distant from the ropes when your legs are locked up. I imagine it's almost impossible to it, drag it, yourself. It, it's impossible to scoot over because you're carrying both your, your weight and your opponent's weight. So the only way to get out of here is either to release that grip on your head or unlock the legs. But Vandegrift. Vandegrift does not want to be defeated in the matchup that he essentially demanded. He called out TJP. There it is. He unlocked the legs, and now Vandegrift's trying to get up. Look at Vandegrift trying to fight out, but one knee strike to the guts of Matt Vandegrift by TJP. Gets it back in control, at least momentarily. Oh, spider in the ropes. Oh, Vandergriff out to the outside. Uh-oh, TJ. TJ can fly. TJ can fly. TJ can absolutely fly. Vandergriff says, no, swing blade! And it seems like every high-flying trick that Vandergriff might have, TJP has seen it before. And now Vandergriff going to the air, up and over. Spring Asahi moves salt. K. Brada to the outside by Matt Vandergriff takes out T.J. Perkins. Sign of approval from the fans with the flippy shit chant from Matt Vandergriff. Did you say the S-word? I did, and the F-word. Top rope drop kick sends T.J.P. into the corner. Japanese style top rope drop kick, and that is as painful on you as it is your opponent. Running knee strike into the corner. Oh, look at that control. And right there, Vandergriff. Oh, what was that? A side breaker kind of? Yeah, double underhook backbreaker. 
Oh, Tiger oh. Fiend kick. And now Vandergriff. About to springboard again. High rent district. Oh, nice clothesline. And that's the thing. TJP has seen it all, but there is a new wave of high flyers in this sport. Men like Matt Vandergriff that TJP might not have his finger on the pulse of. He might not know how to counter their nature and the dangers and the risks they're willing to take. And Vandergriff up at the top of TJ quick, up to his feet. Now TJ is in control and he's going up to the top too. Both men. Both, both locked in. Oh no, Vandergriff pushes off. And T TJP dodges Vandergriff right oh, through. Running boot, running boot. Running Japanese businessman kick in the corner. And here comes the boot wash. Just scraping the face up of Vandergriff. And that time running with, with the boot wash. Shades of Otani here. One of the influences of the style that we see out of men like TJ Perkins. And TJ going, is he going for a third boot wash? Yes, he is. Vandergriff says no. Catch up. Oh, rolling sent on through. Vandergriff up. Oh, a double something, a chest cover. And Vandergriff no. doesn't, doesn't pull off the win, but he lets TJP know he's for real here. Getting that near fall. And Vandergriff is looking around like, what do I got to do right now? Well, I think if anything, Vandergriff has seen so much tape of TJ Perkins. He knows what he has to do. He has to bust out everything in his arsenal. And it looks like he's going to do that right now. Firebird oh! wipes out. And just Vandergriff ate nothing but canvas. And that hurts. Take it from a dude who jumped up the top rope for a living. That hurts when you miss. Yeah, I've also seen you jump from a ladder to the outside you on know, a rock flat. We're not here about me right now. I know. But you know what the damage all of this does to the competitors. Oh, and TJP up and over. Inverted DDT position. Oh! And, and now TJ, is he going for the Mamba? Is TJ going for the Mamba splash? TJ's up. Mamba missed! TJP misses the splash. Matt Vandegriff has to realize this is his opportunity to capitalize. This is his chance to prove he belongs with the absolute top men in this sport. For professional wrestling to open their eyes and see the talent that he is. Both men are down right now, both men. Went for the glory shot and came up empty. Both men taste the canvas. This is dead even right now. And now they're just slugging it out dead center. We got a shootout like two outlaws in the Old West. Who's got the better shot? And right now, Vandergriff's getting a better TJ. TJ float through. Oh, nice suplex. Regal plex. Nothing regal about the landing. Oh, jumping into no. TJ catch the ankle lock. He's got the knee bar in. What an insane counter. And, and Vandergriff is far away from the ropes. As you mentioned before, on other submissions, trying to alleviate the pressure by, by uh, pressing up. But now he's got to drag himself and TJP to the bottom rope to break this hold. And right now, TJP is firmly controlled. Look at this. No, Vandergriff up. Oh, jumping reverse kick. Wow. And that was out of desperation. Vandergriff knew that his dream match was going to become a nightmare if he didn't counter. Like, literally, this crowd is just sitting back watching the action in front of them right now. Like, uh, you know what it's like to face someone you consider a hero almost. Vandergriff's going through that right now. Yeah, I faced Ron Simmons. He beat, the, he beat the hell out of me. Well, that sucks. But that sucks too. <laughs> Top rope superplex. TJP holds on. Oh, no. Rolling Optimus Lock. One, two. No. That was so tight. That just shows what Vandergriff has in him that he was able to get out of that. 
And Vanegar to show me something here. It takes a lot to go in the ring with a guy with the caliber of TJP. And Vandergrift right now is going step for step, hole for hole with TJP. And now TJP trying to pull himself up to the top rope again. Trust me, I have a feeling you and Vandergrift at some point are going to be working together in the same pl place besides FSW. But look at that, Vandergrift cuts off TJP up top. And look at Vandergrift. Vandergrift beat TJ to the top rope, and now... What is are we? What is Vandergriff going? To, no, not suplex. CJ's up top. Oh, it's an what octopus the hold. Hell? It's an octopus hold on the top rope. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He can't submit up there, but the damage can be incredible. TJ Perkins is a genius. And TJ's looking. He's looking to turn into a, a power bomb. Now Vandergriff back flips out. Insane agility, what? Up top block, victory roll! Oh no! Victory roll doesn't live up to his name. Oh, oh Spanish, why? One, two, three, oh no, what? He got him! Standing Spanish fly gets the victory. Matt Vandergrift pulls off the upset. And Vandergriff gets the win. And your winner, Matt Vandergriff. A great matchup here at the FSW anniversary. Potentially the match of the weekend. I, I'll say that.